Good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. And traveling I am. I spent two hours driving down to Bellows Falls, Vermont today for this building that's right in front of us. All right, let me zoom in a bit for you. This started life as a Methodist church. It was built in 1836, which makes this the oldest Methodist church in Bellows Falls. Prior to this church being built, itinerant Methodist ministers would come here offering sermons. It's likely that they ministered to the sick and dying. They probably officiated at weddings and funerals as well. When this building was built, this became a permanent pulpit for them. After this church finished serving as a church, it was uh, owned by the Grange, and then uh, it was owned for 44 years by the Meeting Waters YMCA. In fact, the locals do call this the YMCA. I tend to call buildings by what their first uh, use was. The uh, Meetings Waters YMCA then sold it in 2017 to a local gentleman, an antiques dealer, for one dollar. I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to know that if you buy a building for one dollar, it has big expensive problems. Structural issues, roofing issues, likely systems issues, and let's just toss in the kitchen sink full of other issues. He quit claimed uh, he signed up on a quit claim deed, and uh, now the village of Bellows Falls owns it. An engineer uh, looked at it and determined that it does indeed has uh, uh, structural issues. It is uh, structurally unstable. I know that the village trustees are also concerned that uh, roofing shingles could uh, fly off and hit the kids in the playground just, that's just behind it. Now, the village of Bellows Falls is in the town of Rockingham. The village board of trustees and the uh, Rockingham board of uh, the select board had a joint meeting. And uh, in that meeting, each board voted unanimously to demolish this building, this 185-year-old structure. For the problems I listed above, you know, beforehand. The uh, Historic Commission is hoping to save the third and final original stained glass. I believe it's the one in the center see uh, that right there I think that's what it is right there the one that has holes in it now uh, but these things are repairable um, the Historic Commission does own the, the other two and they're hoping mind you hoping to uh, salvage that they're also hoping to salvage the um, I think this is Spire but it, it really looks like a bell tower to me and uh, we're also hoping to save some uh, original beams in here, original um, wood in here. So they, the Historic Commission did ask the Village Board of Trustees to add a resolution uh, so they can salvage these items, but the trustees did not add that. What the uh, Board of Trustees did do, though, is they voted unanimous, unanimously not to pay one red cent towards the demolition of this building, which means the town of Rockingham needs to pay nearly $59,000 to have this place torn down, which means the Select Board is not very happy about this. I have my suspicions as to why the, the, uh, the village did this, I think for two reasons, actually. Uh, they have a they, so they want to tear this down under the nuisance order, and 
uh, their nuisance order uh, budget for demolition is uh, has forty thousand dollars in it so they don't have enough money on their own to tear it down now in 2019 the trustees took to the voters uh, their plan to use one hundred thousand dollars to tear down the original international paper company's paper mill and the voters overwhelmingly said no so instead the uh, village trustees applied for local state and federal grants to make that building structurally sound and to help restore it now last i knew the building is uh, that building is structurally sound i don't know where it is in the restoration process so <laughs> my guess is because i don't know and i i read the uh, the bylaws of uh, bellows falls yep i had some extra time on my hands i was expecting to have to really delve in and and uh, get to it and i have to say uh, that was not the case i have never seen such short bylaws in my born days as what they have here in bellows falls I was expecting section, subsection, paragraph, subparagraph, sub subparagraph, you know, elbow deep in this stuff with legal ease, which makes it pretty much unreadable, gibberish. But no, two paragraphs, and that was it, two paragraphs. So I couldn't find what I was looking for, which I, uh, I think they didn't want to pay a red cent so they could just tear it down and not be uh, held accountable by the voters. That is, my, uh, that is my best guess, but it's a guess. It's supposition. I don't know. Today is Friday, October 29, 2021. And it's scheduled for demolition to begin on uh, Monday, November 1, 2021. Yep, this coming Monday. Now, I did a walk around, and you can see my photographs on either Instagram, uh, I'm uh, Traveling for History, or um, on uh, Facebook, Traveling for History. So, um, you can look at my photographs there. The, the roof is sinking, the foundation is unstable. Um, I know that chunks of ceiling were falling out. Um, we're falling onto the floor. So, uh, it does have problems, but they're all fixable. Uh, they're significantly expensive, but, you know, if the building's 185 years old, it's going to have problems. And you may be thinking, well, what do you mean by demolish? You mean you're going to salvage it, right? I mean, I would think that there's wood in here, uh, from trees that have gone extinct. Uh, that's my another guess, but I mean, given it's 1836, yeah. But um, uh, no, they don't plan to salvage a doggone thing. They plan to, uh, uh, these, this $59,000 quote is to um, crush the building and throw it away as if it's garbage. I have to say, I'm somewhere between so angry I get spit nails and uh, choked up because it's so sad it's so wasteful there was talk about uh, selling this as, a, as part of a tax sale uh, this past summer a nonprofit from New Hampshire had wanted to purchase it but um, if you've ever done fundraising I, mean, I have it's hard to do fundraising hard to get people to open their wallets although I think this would have been a worthy cause um, the uh, village demanded a hard, uh, a hard, um, what would they call that? A hard decision. And the, um, the nonprofit couldn't give that to them. So they're just going to tear it down instead. Now, the gentleman who bought it for a dollar had wanted to turn this into a community arts center. Wow, how amazing would that be? A new lease on life. But alas, that's, that's not going to happen either unless the village trustees are shamed into saving it, of course. Because politicians can usually be shamed into doing practically anything. Anyway, 
so this is the um, uh, this address is 66 that's the 66 Atkinson Street in Bellows Falls Vermont it's supposed to rain all weekend and uh, Monday I think the chance of rain is 7% I guess it's a good day for demolition so let's take a walk around to this building now and you'll get a better idea of how sad it looks I should mention also that uh, there's a, an article in the Brattleboro Reformer, which is a newspaper local to this area, which documented the owners of the, of the building here. And uh, they did say, state that in that article that uh, the Meeting Waters YMCA, which had owned the building for 44 years, did no maintenance on it. Oh my gosh, that's just despicable. Despicable. Really. Um, an organization that's been around almost as long as this church, I might add. But, um, yeah, let's go take a closer look, see at this place. Uh, it's so sad. The wanton... The, the, if you own a building, you have to maintain it. I mean, you just have to, period. Maintain your home, you paint it. Anyway... All right, let's take a let's take a walk. It's it's funny. Uh, Bellows Falls is uh, really not that big overall, but uh, good God, given the traffic right here, this corner, you think it was a big city. <laughs> All right, as we continue on, I'd say it's it's a total wipeout on my viewfinder. It's a, it's quite bright where I'm standing. Um. And let's take a closer look at what I think is a belfry. I do wonder, I wonder if the bell is still up there. If it's structurally unstable, I think it'd be, uh, it'd be one quick way to uh, kill the building, right? All right, as we continue on, Well, you can see that. I know it's um, uh, kind of dark right there, but that green, um, <laughs> I don't know, shroud-like Halloween ballroom gown that's uh, hanging right there. I know from looking at other pictures online that, that uh, it's just bare wood, and maybe you can see that on the side here. That actually continues down to here over. So, uh, I'm guessing maybe they were trying to keep um, the weather out. I really couldn't tell you. Um, also, along here, we can see the ghost outlines of the original windows, right? Those, uh, um, you know, the, well, we can picture uh, stained glass windows in a church, how they have that, uh, that uh, point at the top, just like these do. You can see the things that where people could access the building are boarded over. The, uh, the village trustees cited spending $20,000 to rent this fencing around here. So um, as part of the reason why they didn't want to pay for the demolition of this building. The, uh, that interesting end capping right there. That is wood, that's not stone. Now the original building looks like it was a Greek revival style and then a, uh, well, I'm not even sure if that's Gothic or what that is on the front. <laughs> but, um, but interesting that they carried on the, the motif right here, the pilaster talked about pilasters before, they're columns built into a wall. And if we look up, 
to the chimney right here uh, there are bricks leaning precariously out of that out of that chimney it's uh, not much longer before that chimney is just gonna go boom and then right along here we can see uh, we can see a hole in the um, the roof area right there this building should have gutters no doubt um, and this portion of the eave is oops, is uh, is breaking away. And then as we come as we come around to the back side of the building, we can see the kids playing in the playground. By the way, so the the. Um, School, which is right there, has expressed interest in the lot once the um, church is demolished. Isn't that good of them? And uh, another suggestion was to use the lot and build an affordable housing unit here. Can you imagine they fix this place up and use this for affordable housing? Wow. What an amazing building. But the worst suggestion of all, the one I hate the most, tearing down an historic structure anywhere, is just to leave it a parking lot. And that has also been floated. Oh my gosh, a parking lot. There are days I'd like to backhand those folks who make those suggestions. But anyway, I think you know how I feel about that from uh, my other videos. Let's see if I, I can show you the chimney better here. You know, I really can't. It's, um, but we can maybe, whoops, right up here, there's a brick hanging from the very top, and there's a couple more over to the right that are also, um, hanging out. It's, uh, it's very dangerous. In the photographs I took, uh, you can see that better. We can see the clabbered is gone in some areas. Clabbered is, is pretty easy to replace. I've done that. Um, being up on a ladder, not so much fun. But I was young and dumb back then. Well, I was young back then. I don't know if I'm any smarter than I was back then. We can see uh, uh, this um, maybe garage roof, shed roof anyway, um, has uh, also deteriorated. It is... Uh, asphalt shingles with a tarp over it, pieces of tarp over it. And then the back end of this, I don't know what structure was attached to the back. We can see though that uh, there's this triangular piece. So uh, who knows, a chicken coop. I mean, we do have veggies growing, veggie boxes here and there. Could be just flowers, but it would make sense to have uh, vegetable, veg vegetable gardens. Let's walk around to the front of the building. And of course we have a handicap um, walkway right here, you know, wheelchair ramp. I would give my eye teeth to be able to film inside. Uh, the Historic Commission members were allowed to sign waivers in order to do just that. And honestly, I would sign a waiver. Yep, I'll sell my, uh, not quite my soul, but uh, you know, the possibility of being smacked in the head by sealing bits. Can we see this better now? Not really. Oh, 
always fun to have a chat with uh, someone who's asking questions. But what's going to happen to this building? So I think we can see it better now. This green ballroom Halloween uh, sheet. Anyway, uh, so as we continue our walk around, you can see it better here on the corner, the, the paint peeling, and you see this is wood as well. And uh, more uh, boarded up windows. These wonderful columns here. Doric. Doric, Doric is the most basic of the three uh, Greek forms of columns. And then we have this wonderful door. It's got the lintel, it's not the lintels, excuse me. It does have a strong lintel at the top, but it also has the pilasters on either side. Columns built into the wall. We can see the stained glass in the center right there. And we can see a piece here cut out and broken out up there. But that's the uh, last original stained glass in this building. Uh, just so you know, I'll put in my, on my website uh, all the text of the articles from which I'm quoting from the Brattleboro Reformer, a newspaper local to this area, The Shopper, a, uh, uh, one of those little newspapers that any one of us gets in our mailbox. Um, what else? Um, what's my quoting from? And uh, whatever else I can find that, I, that I've been quoting from today. If you heard any music, that was from someone's car radio. We can see uh, paint's appealing. It's not very appealing when paint is peeling. Uh -oh. um, also, up here, we can see, you see certainly uh, water damage up here. Um, this is why gutters are so important on a building. hear some more music coming our way. I think I hear the bass more than I hear anything else. So we can um, we can see on the original part of the building the um, these end pieces, right? And the plasters up there. Up here. And then when they put this addition on the front, uh, they have the plasters and the, the corner pieces. I just think that's fantastic that they repeated these elements. Now I can't uh, actually walk by or walk do a whole rock walk around of this building, but uh, you can see also on this side more of the um, the uh, ghost windows left behind, which would have been stained glass, of course. On this side, we can see. More damage on the shingles, um, probably water damage. But uh, it's such a shame to tear it down. So, November 1, I'm not sure what time demolition is supposed to start. It's almost tempting to come down to film it, but uh, I don't think I can stomach it, to be honest. But um, anyway. Again, this is 66 Atkinson Street in Bellows Falls, Vermont. And um, I hope in your area that one of these demolitions is not afoot because it's such a loss to the community. And I was thinking how many generations I would have to go back to have relatives who were alive when this place was built. And uh, six generations, including me, six. And I'm in my late 50s. So, children here, I mean, my gosh, how many generations were them? 10? 12? More? I don't know. Anyway, heartbroken, no doubt. Anyway, on that note, on this sad note for this, this once proud building,
I appreciate your coming with me today. This is Patricia. I am traveling for history. And until I see you again, you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.